Hi, my name is Keith Martinez. I'm the founder and owner of the e-commerce clothing. Let's go. Grind, suicide, blind, terrified, terrorized, devils in my soul. This is how it goes, living wrong, gonna say my song. No, I got it bad, run it back, post it on the track. La ha king, la ha king, wait my team, bitch, I doubt it, cloud it. My thoughts are talking, the moves I'm making, be forsaken, never tripping. What up homies? This is my first vlog. Thank you for supporting and sana magustuhan nyo. Kasi in this video, we will be talking about the process on how you start your own clothing brand. Let's go! Alam naman natin lahat na due to this pandemic outbreak, marami sa ating Pilipino nag-start ng kanya-kanyang businesses. And talagang kitang-kita naman ang pagiging business-minded natin mga Pinoy. Of course, kanya-kanyang diskate, kanya-kanyang ways para kumita ng pera. Kasi over the past 10 years, nakita naman natin kung paano nag-boom ang online marketing sa Pilipinas. In this generation, mas madali na tayong nakakapagbenta at nakakapagmarket by the use of social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, online malls like Lazada, Shopee, Zalora, and marami pang iba. Madalas, hassle-free na rin ang pagdi-dispatch ng ating mga items dahil marami na rin delivery partners ang nagpo-provide ng same-day delivery. Like Lala Move, Grab Delivery, Angkas, and Mr. Speedy. Siyempre, di pa rin mawawala ang mga old-school partners like LBC, JNT, and FedEx. Marami na rin sa kanila ang kaya mag-cater ng cash on delivery. Galing, di ba? But what I would share today are the things that I went through when I started my own clothing brand, the e-commerce clothing. So I started my business from scratch, as in zero knowledge. Wala akong alam sa mga classic ng shirts or even sa pagde-design. Ang gusto ko lang talaga is makapag-start ng business. So unti-unti kong inaral and nag-research ako kung ano-ano bang bagay ang dapat kong malaman. In which, pag-uusapan natin ngayon yung mga types of shirts, Labels, prints, and packaging. Step 1. Since wala naman tayong sariling tahian, syempre we need to get shirts. And what we need to know about shirts is yung cotton count, polyester count, size details, colorways, and yung dimensions. Meron din naman tayong mabibiling ready-made shirts means they are made for rebranding. For example, Gildan, Softex, Fruit of the Loom, Yalex, Winner, Blueprint, or Target. And every rebranding shirt has its own variety. Like Gildan, they have Gildan Premium, Gildan Heavy Cotton, Gildan Hammer, Gildan Soft Style, and sobrang dami pa. Pero lahat ng yun ay may iba't ibang dimensions, cotton and polyester cap. And marami na din naman mga cut-ins of businesses ang nag-offer ng mga shirts na may sariling amount ng GSM and CVC. GSM meaning grams per square meter. So pag sinabi nilang 210, 220, 240, ang meaning nun is 240 grams of fabric per square meter. CVC naman meaning chief value cotton. Chief value cotton ay blend of polyester and cotton pero mas mabigat yung amount ng cotton. Usually yung price range nito is from 130 to 180 depending sa sizes. So I suggest you guys to join Facebook groups like the local clothing brands PH, design for sale for clothing line, support local clothing PH, and marami pang iba. Step 2. Etiqueta or etiquette. Uy, alam ko, label yun. Excited din siya magsabi ng bobo. Shirt labels. Of course, we want our shirts to be more fashionable and attention-grabbing. Shirt labels can give our shirts the quality to stand out. Ito yung usually nilalagay sa neck, sa sleeves, sa hip, and sa hoodie pockets if jackets. So ano-ano nga ba ang inclusions ng labels? Usually yung nilalagay is yung brand logo and sizing. Pero choice mo rin kung gusto mo maglagay ng country of origin, washing instructions, cotton and polyester cap. So nung nag-start ako maghanap ng labels, meron akong dalawang klase na nakita. Ito ay yung woven labels and yung print labels. So simulan natin sa woven labels. Woven labels is yung high density label, 100% polyester trend siya na pinagsama-sama sa isang loom. Ito yung magandang klase na talaga ng label para sa isang shirt. 
Ang usual price nito before is 1 peso and 50 centavos each, minimum of 5,000 pieces. The other one naman is in printed labels. Usually, ito yung mga piniprint sa glossy na fabric, which is yung meron kami ngayon. So, ganito yung itsura niya per piece. And ganito naman karami yung 5,000 pieces. Ang usual price nito before is 1 peso each, minimum quantity of 5,000 pieces. Pero marami na rin mga label businesses na nag-offer ng lower quantity. Pero again, syempre the lower the quantity, the higher the price. So ang ginawa namin before is we allotted 1,000 pieces each sa small, medium, large, extra large, and 500 pieces each naman sa extra small and 2XL. Syempre, ide-depende mo siya sa kung anong sizes ang feeling mong mas maganda sa'yo. And may mga nauso na din ngayon na labels para sa neckline. Neck-tape labels ang tawag sa kanya. It's a combination of fabric and print. Ganda yung itsura niya. Well, sobrang klase talaga ng shirt kapag meron na ito. Step 3. Types of prints. We have several types of prints. Meron tayong silk screen printing, heat transfer, dye sublimations or subli, and direct to garments. First one is some silk screen printing. This one is cost efficient, good for cotton plus polyester. Ink is being absorbed by the shirt, great quality and long lasting. May mga iba't ibang klaseng inks for silk screen. Una is yung water-based ink, plastisol ink, and discharge ink. Second one is heat transfer. This one is easy to use and learn. You need to print your design to a transfer paper and heat press that into your shirt. You also need a certain amount of heat and of course yung tamang timing. Now, the difference about silk screen printing and heat transfer is that yung ink ay na-absorb ng shirt kapag silk screen yung ginamit mo. Unlike dito sa heat transfer na once na ma-print, parang nakapatong yung ink sa shirt. Pero parang silang maganda. And hindi lang pala ink yung pwede gamitin dito kasi pwede ka din mag-print ng suede. Like sa first design ko, ito heat transfer pero instead na ink ang gamitin, ginawa siyang suede. And quality wise, solid. Third one is sublimation. Ito naman is almost the same as heat transfer. Almost the same procedure din. Usually ginagamit ang sublimation pag mas mataas ang polyester count kaysa sa cotton. For example, sa mga jersey like this one, fully detailed yung design. Medyo presko, pero din again, parang nakapatong yung print dun sa mismong tela. Pero malambot and maganda siya. Pero ang kagandahan, this one can print more complex designs. Para sa akin, sobrang ganda ng sublimation sa mga dry fit na damit. So, Lee. Step 4. Types of packaging. This time, homies, we'll be talking about the features of having a good packaging for your brand. Siyempre, we need to know the purpose muna why we need to have a quality packaging. Ito kasi is nabasa ko sa isang business marketing website na it has to be convenient, attractive, protective, and communicative. Kasi ang packaging daw needs to be conveniently taken from one place to another and can be handled easily by delivery partners and consumers. Yung size and shape really matters then kasi it will be conveniently dense sa retailers to keep them in their shop. Other thing is it should be reusable para magamit pa natin after. Second is attractive. Hanggat maaari, dapat attractive yung packaging mo kasi proven and tested that it can really attract customers' attention. Ewan ko, para kasi sa akin, kapag maganda yung packaging, sa labas pa lang nagtitiwala na agad yung customer na maganda and quality yung product mo sa loob. Next is protective. So that yung packaging mo can protect your product sa araw, sa ulan, sa mga insekto, syempre sa mga alikabok habang in transit for delivery or nakastore sa isang lugar. And guys, the only packaging that can protect your product from any risk is a good packaging. Kasi yung magandang packaging also works as a silent salesperson and an effective advertisement. And reminder guys, yung packaging should not be costly. Hindi siya pwedeng sobrang mahal. Kasi pag expensive yung packaging mo, it will also increase the cost of the product. As a result, baka mas mahirapan kang ibenda siya. So kailangan saktuhan lang. Maraming klase ng packaging para sa clothing line. Meron dyang paper bag, paper board, 
Pero mas madalas na ginagamit are polymailers and ziplocks. Before kasi, we only use transparent ziplocks like this. Pero we have upgraded na rin sa customized frosted ziplocks. Frosted ziplocks yun to siya. Maayos na yung zip and lock. Presentable na siya unlike before na walang zip and pipindutin mo lang para mag-lock. This also includes the brand name, your purpose, and the invitation to visit your social media pages. And lastly is yung freebies. Pwede kayong maglagay ng hand tags, stickers, and calling cards. Same thought, to be more presentable and attractive to consumers. There you go. Maaari ka na makapag-start ng sarili mong clothing brand. And sana nakakuha kayo ng ideas sa video na to. That's a wrap. I'm out. Before we end this video, I just wanted to thank 6S for letting me use his music, trap in my mind. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel. This video is also inspired by Nick Luni Moore of Nick Automatic. Please also subscribe to his YouTube channel and his Facebook page at Nick Automatic. I just wanted to thank all the people who supported this vlog. John Vincent Photography, Videographer and Editor, JV De La Fuente, King Ricardo, and Casey Bernardo. Please also follow our page, www.facebook.com forward slash latecomersclothing, instagram.com at latecomersclothing too. And please also subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell below to be updated on what's next on our future videos. For any comments, questions, and suggestions, please drop it on the comment box below. That's it. I'm out. Dip out to the east side, throwing out my peace sign, but I'm feeling doubtful. Never that, shake it off like T-Swift. Never knew what this, I've been treated.